This is part two of the video series on how to use a multimeter. And in this part, I want to explain how to use the ohm setting to measure resistance with this multimeter. So to do that, obviously, you'd turn the multimeter to that position. The horseshoe, the Greek letter omega, represents the ohm setting. And the thing you have to do differently when you're taking this measurement is you have to take whatever component you're going to be measuring and isolate it from the rest of the circuit. This can't be plugged in and turned on. The light bulb can't be plugged in and turned on when you're measuring these things. The way it works is the multimeter sends a small amount of current out one of the leads and then measures how much of that current comes back the other through the other lead and then determines what the resistance is. And so connecting this to something that's in a circuit and it's on, of course, is going to mess up that reading give you a false reading, but even plugging this into a circuit that's turned off but connected could give you a false reading because it may be measuring not the resistance of this component but the rest of the circuit that it's connected to. So always isolate the, isolate the component you're testing and then in this case we have a resistor. You just place the leads on each end of the resistor and it says that we have 97.4 ohms and that's a great Great way to find out where the resistance of a resistor is. 15.1 ohms. And then on this light bulb, touch the terminals on the light bulb, it's saying that it has about 0.7 ohms. So that's how you'd use the, the ohm meter portion of your multimeter. One other thing that it's very useful for is finding continuity. Continuity means if you have a, a wire, like this one here, and you wanted to see if these two leads are connected to each other. It's obvious because we've got the whole wire here that it's, they're physically connected, but we don't know if they're electrically connected. Maybe it's broken inside or something else has gone on, or maybe it's a bundle of wires and you can't really tell which wire is which. And so to test them, we can just use the ohmmeter portion and touch both leads, and you should get a low resistance reading. In this case, it's saying about two, two and a half ohms which is a low reading, indicating that it's connected. Obviously, when it's not connected, it reads OL, which means out of limits. It's got so much resistance when this is open that it's beyond the limits of this meter, and, and it reads OL. Another feature that most meters have is the uh, beeper, and they're all different. In some cases, you hit a button. On this meter, you look at this little symbol here that looks like a, um, it's got the sound waves. We turn it to that position, and now when the leads connect, it produces a beep. And that's a great way to quickly test for continuity. And you're checking wires to see if they're connected, to see if, if things are, are electrically connected to each other. And that's called measuring continuity.